Hey everybody, welcome back to Elephant Chains, uh, a place where we talk about the chains that are shackling and holding you back from the person that you know that you can be. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that's uh, really important right now. It's the chains of COVID-19. Um, they have put chains on you no matter what. Even if you don't believe that COVID-19 even existed, it has placed chains on you. And we're going to talk about what those chains are. And we're going to talk about breaking those chains. Because at some point, this pandemic will come to an end. Like, have some hope in the fact that it will come to an end. And that life will go, I wouldn't say back to normal. I don't think that's exactly what we want. Because of all that we have seen over the year, all that's been uncovered and highlighted, I don't think we should go back to normal. I think we should adopt a new normal and move on in the ways that we can make this world and make this country a much better place. But before that, you do have to heal. We can't just pick up and keep moving as if over time, things will just get better. So uh, I've compiled a list of things that uh, you can do, you can actively do to eliminate the chains that are on you from COVID. Whether you acknowledge them or not, they are there. But the most important thing you need to do is acknowledge those change because you need to be completely committed to reality. We've seen what people can do or not do if they are not completely committed to reality. So let's go over this list. It is a top 19 list. I'll probably just do top 10 in this video um, and then another nine in the next video so that you guys can take some time to absorb what the top 10 are, uh, pick out some of those things that will be helpful to you to do. Um, I'm actually doing all 19 of these, not all at the same time, but all 19 over the course of the next couple of years. It's something that you need to slowly move into. Some of these are habits that you need to keep continue with throughout the rest of your life. And some of these are things that you just need to start doing now that are smaller steps to get your mind and body out of the pandemic. First and most important step is grieve. You have to grieve. COVID took something from you. It took your prom, it took your graduation, it took some family members, it took your vacation. Like there is nothing too small that was taken away that's not significant, okay? Don't let someone say, oh yeah, you just lost a little boyfriend, girlfriend, it's no big deal. Like there have been losses. People have lost jobs, lost income, lost homes. Like there are various things and there's got to be a time or several times where you can put your hands in your face and just cry, just to say, these are the things that I wanted 2020 to be, okay? This is what I wanted to do. These are the places I wanted to go. I was really excited about walking across that stage. Like, be real with the things that you have lost, okay? And you need to grieve those things, all right? whether it be the crying, making a list, there's various things you need to do, but you have got to acknowledge what has been lost. You're not going to be able to get back what COVID took from you, but you can acknowledge what has been taken and that will help you to move on. Number two, a journal. Uh, keeping a journal of, of your emotions, of how you're feeling. I am so upset that I missed that on this. I'm so upset that I, like, Get that anger, get that fear, get that anxiety, get those negative emotions out. And then, conversely, in the same journal, write down the things that you're grateful for. Like, are you grateful for your health? You grateful that one of your family members did not die from COVID? Are you grateful that your parents did keep their jobs or you kept your job throughout this time? Okay? There are things to be grateful for. If you're watching this video, grateful that you have the internet, okay? I'm grateful that you had a cup of coffee this morning, okay? Grateful that you finally get to go back to school instead of doing everything online. Like, whatever it is, write down some things that you're also grateful for because that will help to keep your mind and body moving forward um, rather than just being kind of stuck in this every day, this stinks, this sucks. Like, there are things that stink and suck, but there are so many things that are good. Mindfulness. There are mindfulness and meditation uh, minutes, apps, 
YouTube videos all over the place. If you cannot feel your body, okay, you need to take some time to be silent, to be quiet, to have your body relax. I also suggest yoga. Shout out to Yoga with Adrian. It, it is great for releasing stress and we all have stress and anxiety through this time, okay? Um, I know some of you have walked past people and held your breath at times and hesitated to give someone a hug in some way um, or wondered whether, even if you're not an anti-masker, wondered, is somebody gonna talk to me about not wearing a mask? That's anxiety, okay? And that needs to be released. Tip number four, you need to be kind, okay? Be kind to someone. It'll make you feel great if you make a meal for a neighbor, okay? Donate some food to your local food bank, all right? Donate money to philanthropic organizations, all right? Volunteer, help out your neighbors, your elderly neighbors especially, with some yard work or something like that. Like, do something that's gonna help someone else because we have all felt helpless and no matter where you are, helping someone makes you feel good. Number five a change of scenery, okay? Change where you are, okay? Go out to lunch maybe 20 minutes away. Try a different restaurant to sit outside and social distance with, all right? Um, you need something, like just getting out of town for five minutes, 10 minutes, or a half a day is enough to make you feel like, oh gosh, I don't feel trapped anymore in that apartment, in that neighborhood, seeing just home, school, work every day, like, it's good to just get out of your uh, surroundings, at least for a day, an hour, or something like that, just to see something different. Number six, learn something new. Try a new recipe, okay? Learn a new skill. Are you doing some yard work or something like that? Once you learn how to, how to plant things, how to grow plants, like there's some sort of skill, small skill that you can learn over the course of, you know, this, this month, this time, um, learn something new, something that's gonna make you feel good and something to make you feel accomplished, okay? Because the days can get monotonous. It's doing the same thing day after day after day after day. So try something new. Number seven, let me get close for this. Number seven is the most important. I know that you're watching this on YouTube right now, but you definitely need to take a social media break, whether it be for a weekend, whether it be one day a week, um, I would say all media break, all right? Because we we look at the news, we see what's going on, uh, we see the shootings that are happening, we see the COVID numbers going up and then they're going down and then what's happening with the vaccine, we don't know, like all that creates anxiety. And then you get online and all the political stuff, all the political stuff of 2020, it was horrible, okay? Election years are horrible. All the vitriol, all the fighting, all the, I mean, it, all the talking heads on TV, like all that is still in your body. All that is still frustrating and you need to take some time to get away from that. So maybe pick a day, pick a weekend. Um, and some of you need to delete some apps. Some of those things that give you those notifications, like all those things that give you notification about, oh my goodness, now we're getting rid of all gasoline or, or now all gasoline is destroying the earth. Like you need to take some time to take some time off, okay? take some time away from those things. It's really important that you have a social media fast at some point. And I suggest some of them you just delete forever because it's not helping you in any way. Number eight, uh, connect face to face. Especially if you're vaccinated and someone else is vaccinated, it's good to see people face to face, like actually have a conversation with someone. That'd be great. One-on-one -on -one is great. Maybe meet up at a coffee shop, at a park, go for a walk with a friend. Like you need that social interaction to actually share some things about yourself, share your struggles. There should at least be one person in your life that you can say, and you can be real with, okay? A parent, a brother, a sister, someone where you can be like, let's just talk and be real for 25, 35, two, three, four hours or something like that, where I can just release these things, not burden you, but release these things and talk about how things really are instead of pretending like everything is fine. Number nine, attack the weaknesses. COVID-19, whether or not you got the virus or not, you have been exposed. It has shown you who you are. Over the year, you have gained weight, 
you have increased in your maybe irritability, maybe cursing a little bit more, drinking a little more alcohol, smoking a little bit more, okay? Um, checking online too much, controlling your diet. Like there is something that has happened that has been clear that has happened and you need to start to attack that, okay? Whether it be going on a diet, starting to quit smoking, like whatever it is, there's something that has been impacting you. Okay, and you've been watching a more pornography. Okay, more pornography. You are looking for connection. That's what you're looking for. You're not looking for those images. You're looking for more connection. Okay, so realize that those things are weaknesses and start to attack those. Don't make them another side effect of COVID. Okay, don't come out of this pandemic with another pandemic in your body that's going to burden you for the rest of your life. And number 10. I don't know why this is controversial, but if you're over 16, get vaccinated, okay? If you're not going to get vaccinated, that is completely your choice, okay? You've got to be okay with that or okay with the possibility of getting COVID. That is your choice, okay? Your choice is you go get the vaccine or you take your chances with whatever coronavirus mutation is out there right now. But you got to be clear with the decision. Now, those of those of us who get vaccinated, I can tell you firsthand, it does give you a sense of relief that, oh my goodness, there's at least something happening that will s- slowly start to stop this pandemic from happening. There's at least some sort of step that we're taking that's going to make this thing um, go away. And that is the suggestion that I take. Okay, so that is first the top ten. I'll give you this that the next nine in the next video. Thank you very much.